You intend to estimate a population mean with a confidence interval. You believe the population to have a normal distribution. Your sample size is 101. Find the critical value that corresponds to a confidence level of 99%. Report answer accurate to three decimal places with appropriate rounding. So we're asked to find a critical value. Because we believe our population to have a normal distribution, we can use a T distribution to make our estimate. And that's where we'll get our critical value from. So let's look at a T curve. It looks like, it looks very much like a normal curve. Um, more and more so as the degrees of freedom increase. Okay. And we're asked to find the critical value. That's this number right here, this T value right here that corresponds to having 99% fall between it and its counterpart because this is a symmetric distribution, its counterpart on the negative end. Well, that leaves 1% for the tails. That means we have point. 0.5% in that tail. Sorry about that. I'll erase that. So if we have 1%, we have 0.5% for each tail. Okay. That means that we are looking for the value here for t that puts 99.5% percent of the area under that T curve to the left of our critical value that I've circled in red. We're going to use the inverse T function on the calculator to do that. So the inverse T will do second and the VARS key, which is in the second function is distributions. And it's the fourth one. You see it says inv t, inverse t function. Okay? And we're going to put in the following inputs. You have to put in the percentage of the curve that you want to the left of your critical value in, as a decimal. So that's 0.995. And then the second input is the degrees of freedom. Our n is 101, which makes our degrees of freedom 100. And we will hit enter, and then we'll think for a minute for us. And we will get an answer that when we round it, we will get 2.626. So that is our answer. The critical value that corresponds to a confidence level of 99% is 2.626.